FSCM Image 35 is the first image to utilize PeopleTools 858. Among many new features, PeopleTools 858 delivers an updated, contemporary look to the user interface, beginning with the sign in screen. The updated style sheet and other branding elements have new colors, headers, widget designs, icons, and effects. This contemporary look can be seen with the banner, its buttons, the nav bar, the menu, and their interaction effects. These updates apply to Fluid home pages, Fluid components, Fluid activity guides, Fluid pages and secondary pages, as well as to modal windows and dialog boxes launched from these Fluid applications. Similar updates apply to the style sheet for Classic Plus components, ensuring a uniform look and feel across your PeopleSoft system. For additional features in PeopleTools 858, see the PeopleTools 858 highlights video or the new feature overview on My Oracle support. This completes the uptake of PeopleTools 858 description. PeopleSoft enhances the Page and Field Configurator to configure data masking of component fields and search fields. You can now create a masking configuration and add the required fields to the configuration. PeopleSoft delivers four types of mask profiles that you can use to set the format of the masked fields depending on your business requirements. This example shows that the total bid amount and total bid cost fields are masked on the Analyze Total page in Sourcing. This completes the data masking using Page and Field Configurator Feature Description. PeopleSoft FSCM Image 35 is the second image to add transactions for the delegation framework for approvals. This feature allows you to choose a proxy who can approve certain transactions on your behalf. Financial structure requests and supplier transactions are now available for this feature. PeopleSoft FSCM plans to add more transactions in future images. This completes the Enhanced Fluid Delegation Framework feature description. In FSCM Image 35, the GL Work Center provides a link to display journals that are not posted and where the journal date is after the current open period. This completes the Review and Process Journals Not Posted in Period feature description. FSCM Image 35 enhances the approval process to include a pushback option for supplier contract clause and documents in both classic and fluid approvals. This option allows an approver to push an approval request back to the previous approver for review. The approver can provide comments as to why the request is pushed back. The previous approver can make the required edits to the request and resubmit it for approval. This completes the fluid approval for pushback supplier documents feature description. General ledger enhancements include retain approval history for denied journals and expand configurable questionnaire on structure change request. FSCM Image 35 enhances the journal entry approval chain to retain approval history for denied journals. In addition, the system retains approval history for journals that are resubmitted for approval after modification. In FSCM Image 35, Structure Change Request now includes additional configurable fields to support the questionnaire. You can now provide additional information to explain the business justification further. This completes the General Ledger Enhancements description. FSCM Image 35 enhances the Receivable Work Center My Work Grouplet for revenue estimate exceptions and direct journal budget exceptions. 
These transactions display only budget checking errors. This completes the Add Revenue Estimate Budget Exception in Work Center My Work feature description. Billing enhancements include an expanded billing adjustment feature and a billing page update. The Billing Adjustment feature for a government contract associated bill creates a withholding analysis type to represent a credit bill adjustment that has been added to a withholding line. In addition, Billing creates a withholding release analysis type to represent a credit and rebill adjustment that has been added to a withholding release line. Billing pages now contain lookup options for an invoice and range selection ID. This completes the billing enhancements description. In FSCM Image 35, new configurable options allow customers to identify whether revenue can be recognized on project costing transactions that are not yet approved for billing. These options work with the Manager Transaction Review feature in Project Costing. When the review required for revenue checkbox is selected, the As Incurred Project Transactions associated with the contract must be reviewed before they can be included in Revenue Recognition. This is performed on the Manager Transaction Review page. When not selected, transactions are included in revenue recognition even though they have not been reviewed and approved for billing on the Manager Transaction Review page. To require revenue to be reviewed, select the Required for Billing checkbox on the Project Installation Options page. When Require Review for Revenue is deselected, a transaction can be included in revenue recognition before it has been reviewed and approved for billing. This completes the Extend Manager Transaction Review to Recognize Revenue on Transactions feature description. PeopleSoft enhances the Cash Advance feature by adding an Accounting Details Grid to Cash Advance Transaction pages. Employees can use the Accounting Details section to view or change accounting details or chart field allocations for a cash advance. The Employee Privilege template controls employee access to the Accounting Details grid for editing. Approvers can view or change accounting details or chart field allocations for a cash advance using the Approved Cash Advance Report page. Use the Approval Privilege template to control approver access to the Accounting Details grid for editing. Use the View Cash Advance page to view the accounting details or chart field allocation for a cash advance. This completes the Edit Cash Advance Accounting Details feature description. Asset Management Enhancements include Associate Multiple Service Requests to a Work Order, Enhance Spreadsheet Data Import, and Enhanced Preventive Maintenance Schedule. In PeopleSoft Image 35, Maintenance Management enhances the service request process to allow the association of multiple related service requests to a single work order. Use the Associate to Existing Work Order button on the Service Request page to link the service request to an existing work order. Use the information on the Associate to Existing Work Order page to determine the work order to associate with the service request. When you've located the desired work order, click the Select button. When the work order is complete, the status of this service request and all associated service requests is updated to completed. Use the Unassociate Work Order button to remove the link between a service request and a work order. The Import Data by Spreadsheet process allows you to enter asset transaction data offline using a spreadsheet application, and then import the transaction data into Asset Management tables. 
To accomplish this, PeopleSoft Asset Management delivers spreadsheet templates that provide the framework and fields necessary to generate the required spreadsheet CSV file. With PeopleSoft Image 35, Asset Management provides three new spreadsheet templates. Use the Enter Unit Transfer template to transfer assets between business units. Use the Recategorize Asset template to transfer assets from one asset category to another. And use the Adjust Asset template to adjust asset cost. In Image 35, Maintenance Management enhances Preventive Maintenance, or PM, schedule components. The PM Schedule, PM Loop Schedule, and PM Location Schedule components display the View History link. These components maintain a history of the PM Schedule updates. The View History link displays the updates, such as when the PM Schedule was last updated and by whom. This completes the Asset Management Enhancements description. Additional features also added for FSCM Update Image 35 include payables, archive payment and voucher data in a high-volume environment, and Treasury, add data element to SWIFT payment formats. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update Image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the Update Image Overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.